Well, hey guys, what is up? What is going on out there today? Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of What's the Right Shot? Yours truly with the topper second serve and what I'm thinking might have been an attempt at a drop shot return that um, hung up, right? And so, look, uh, a couple things. i uh, I want to talk about today. And the title of this is Five Shot Choices. There's actually more, I mean, but I'm looking at I'm looking at an underspin drive up the line as an approach. I'm looking at maybe going at the guy's feet. Not 100% sure that's where he is, but based on playing this guy several times, I know he likes to kind of crowd inside the baseline. So at his feet, could go cross court with this, right? We saw that in a recent episode, but I was closer to the net. Uh, in that recent episode with this with this uh, same kind of situation. so But that's a possibility, right? It, I could play a dropper right in front of me if I don't know that he's uh, if he, he's inside the baseline. Or I could play a little dropper cross court. And that doesn't even get, and that's all slice, right? That doesn't even start talking about topspin. Could you topspin a ball from here? You could, for sure, right? And so I, I think that the thing that you want to do on this is that and, and and for me initially when I when I when I move in as you can see there's I wouldn't say that's a that's a stumble as much as going okay I'm anticipating a dropper and then I'm going wait a minute this isn't a dropper I don't want to get too tight on this because then I'll have to play a little a little tricky half volley from back in here but you've got shot choices like I just described and you want to. <laughs> Not have that sub menu dropping down in front of your face right now where you're kind of going, okay, I've got at least five different shot choices. Let's go up the line. No, and at the last second, you decide to do something different, right? What I want you to start doing is once you get a read on, okay, here's the depth. Here's where it's going to land right now. Start deciding um, What's your initial shot choice? What are your instincts, right? And just decide you're going to trust that at that instinct, because right, you can't you can't tell this guy, hey, um, you know, you've got to stay right there. You can't anticipate, and so the idea here is that you want to hit as high a quality shot as possible, and the best way to do that is not to have this submenu of, of possible shot choices drop down in front of you and you consider each one. Well, what is he thinking? What All this kind of stuff. you got to go with your first one. And what I've found is that the first one, does it win the point every time? Of course not. But the clarity that you get with your trusting your instincts of whatever is your initial shot choice, go with it. And just now you get a chance to really concentrate on it and and not really doubt, right? And, and and that's such a big thing with shot choice, is especially when you start considering on something like this, where it's kind of a slow incoming ball, and sometimes, as we've said, man, there's just too much time to think, right? Well, that's true. There's a lot of time to think about shots, mm, one, two, three, four. Which one? And you never really get committed, and at the last second you decide to do something, and it's just not played with confidence. So right about here, once you decide what the depth is going to be on this probably slightly mishit dropper that ends up too deep, it's not a drop shot, is, is, is you're just totally trusting your instincts, you're committing to it, and you are staying with it and just playing the shot. So, look, I mean, the question is always, well, what's the right shot? And, I mean, any one of the five that I just mentioned could be the right shot. The bottom line is that, is that even on this one here, I, it ends up being a winner. But I, I can't stop him from right now guessing or anticipating that that's where he's going to go. So, the best you can do is get clarity on shot choice, trust your instincts, go with that first one, play as high a quality shot as possible. Doesn't mean that you're putting pressure on yourself to have to hit a winner because, again, you can't stop him from guessing where you're going to go. And he could be there. That's okay. You'll just 
You'll just take it from there. So, guys, hope this has been helpful today. Look, um, hold on for one sec. Let me uh, shut this down. <laughs> um, top spin serve, right? Top spin serve. If you are struggling getting, getting swing speed, natural swing speed, I've got a free video for you that's going to show you uh, the three natural swing speed kind of fixes, right? So that you end up getting more power, you get a higher quality spin. And uh, yeah, and so that, that serve's just not sitting up over there uh, for that returner. If you're struggling with that top spin serve down below, there's a link. It's a free video. It'll take you to it. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's see if we can't get that... Uh, that natural swing speed going for you. Right down below is the link. Click it and uh, you'll, get, you'll get access to it. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Any questions, any comments, remarks, feedback down below in the comments area, let me know. And as always, it's time. We got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.